you come here to see puppies and there's like a million reasons why you should get one but that's not the focus of today's video today you're getting five reasons why you should not buy a cavalier king charles spaniel Like I said, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching today's video. Before we get started, I just want to take a second and thank you so much for subscribing and watching and liking and commenting on my videos. We just hit 400 subscribers and to me that is insane. Like I never thought we would grow it to this point. I mean, it's a small achievement for some, but it's huge for me. And I just want to thank you so much for sticking with me. I've tried to keep the quality up and the content up. So I'm really happy to have people that want to see what I've got going on and are interested in some of the stuff that I have to share. So sappy stuff out of the way. Trickstars.com is the sponsor of today's video. That's where you can get artwork and apparel. It's super awesome. I actually paint all of the stuff myself. I've been working on it for many, many, many years and I've got my website running. And so that's what's uh, you know supporting and sponsoring this video is trickstars.com. So if you haven't checked it out, go to trickstars.com, get you a t-shirt. If you wanna know what they mean, message me. I've got videos about what they mean, but it just helps me support the channel, helps you get engaged with me. And so I'm just really happy to share that with you. But now let's get that out of the way and start today's video. So the first reason that you do not want to get a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is that they are not a guard dog. If you want a guard dog, this is not the kind of dog you need. It's just too small and too kind to really protect you. They may bark at a stranger, they may even bark at a squirrel, but if somebody just shows them the smallest amount of attention, they're going to run up with their tongues out and their tails wagging because they're just such friendly dogs. So if you really need a guard dog in your home, you live alone and you might need someone to keep watch on you, uh, the Cavalier Spaniel is not really your best option just because they're small and sweet and very easy to convince if you just show them affection. Daisy, come here baby. Come here. So I have two Cavalier Spaniels and Daisy here is my little female and of the two, she's the most vocal. She will let you know if there's someone outside, she'll let you know, um, you know, and in that sense, maybe it can be a little bit alarming. Yeah, like, hey, look over there, there's something, there's somebody, but she's the sweetest little dog and she's honestly so small that like, it's not gonna scare anybody away. She's just so cute. like. Even a bank robber or like a, someone who's burglaring your house is still gonna just stop and be like, oh my God, what a cute dog. And honestly, maybe maybe in that sense, they will help you guard your home because your robber will think, man, what a sweet puppy. I'm just gonna leave these guys alone and let them have their life. So maybe it'll work out for you, but I would not recommend the Cavalier Spaniel as a guard dog. Come on, baby, get down. The second reason that you might not want to get a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is that they take a lot of grooming. Now, I myself, I'm not always brushing and washing the dogs. I kind of let them be natural, but a lot of people do like that. And if you want to keep up with your dog's grooming needs, you're going to need to brush their hair. They've got long hair on their feet, on their ears, on their tails, on their chest. So you're going to be brushing your dog pretty often. I brush mine before and after they take a bath. Um, and taking a bath is something that's important too, because they have long hair, so they attract dirt and all kinds of stuff when they run around the yard and chase each other and do all kinds of stuff like dogs do. So the Cavalier Spaniel is gonna get dirty and it's gonna need to be washed and brushed if you don't want to have your dog with dreadlocks in its hair and uh, you know covered in mud. I will say that the black and tan Cavalier Spaniel shows dirt less naturally because it's got dark fur and brown feet. So you don't notice that the black and tan is as dirty as he might be. <laughs> Winston would, uh, would agree. But Daisy, on the other hand, she is a blenum, so she's white and tan, and she does show more dirt. So she runs around and gets brown feet like in one day. Uh, whereas, you know, Winston doesn't do that as much. But it's not that big of a deal. It's not a deal breaker. But that is one thing to consider when you want to get a Cavalier Spaniel is that you will have to groom them and you will have to bathe them probably more frequently than you would a short haired dog. Winston, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Up. 
Yeah, good boy. So here's Tiny, or Winston, or Baby Wuff. He's the sweetest little dog, oh my goodness. People have commented like, he's so quiet, he's so calm, he's so friendly. This is the superstar. But it just shows you how dark he is. Look at that. He's so cute, but he doesn't show. He's got dirty paws. Show him your dirty paws. I can see the dirt. Uh, can you see the dirt? Tell me if you can see the dirt because I can see it. You need a bath. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah. You might have to groom your Cavalier Spaniel more often than you like, and that may be a deal breaker for you. To me, it's not, but that's another reason why you might consider not getting one. Pop down. That brings us to number three. Reason why you might not want to get a Cavalier Spaniel. Daisy, what you want? What you want? Come on. So if you will notice, one of the most iconic features about the dog is their big, floppy, furry, cuddly, snuggly ears. And with those great ears comes great responsibility. These ears need to be clean. They get dirt and they, you know, they just need to be clean. So you might have to uh, do the, the vet deal or, you know, learn how to Q-tip and clean your little Cavalier's ears. But I have heard that they are prone to ear infection because they do just harbor so much attention grabbing dirt surface. You know, there is just a lot of ear there. And so when they're dragging the ground, running around, they get germs, they get bacteria. And so your little dog's ears might need to be cleaned more often than a short eared dog. So kind of a random fact there, but it's something to look out for and something to consider. Uh, that big, beautiful ear that they've got is super appealing, but there is, uh, you know, some caveats with that as well. So the fourth reason that you might not want to get a Cavalier Spaniel is actually a little more serious than the others. They do have some health concerns to be wary of. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel has some hereditary issues that have to deal with their heart as well as their eyes and their hips, their joints. So uh, hip dysplasia is something that can happen with your Cavalier Spaniel if they are not bred in a way that is protecting of these hereditary issues they can develop in some dogs and some breeders and their lines. So you want to be careful with the dog you get. You want to make sure that it is purebred and that it does have a clean history of health issues, health concerns, that of the parent and the other puppies that are born with your dog as well. So the hips is one thing to consider, make sure they're checked out often, as well as their eyes. They can get cataracts and just different issues with their eyes. Small dogs, they do seem to get cataracts and stuff. I know all dogs will, but that's just one thing. These dogs have big, beautiful eyes, and with those big, beautiful eyes come some of the sacrifices of, you know, they won't last forever. So you gotta watch out, get them checked off, and make sure that your dog is healthy, and watch out for their eyes and their hips. And the final health concern that I have heard about from others and read about online is that they have some heart conditions. They can have heart problems later in life. And so like lots of dog foods that are available that are grain free, grain is actually good for your heart. So like oatmeal and stuff, that's always like the heart healthy thing, right? So you may want to choose a dog food that has grains and whole grains in it because it will help with their heart condition and with their heart health. So over time, uh, it actually adds to their quality of life rather than takes from it where, you know, grain can be fattening and can have problems, but with a dog that has heart problems that needs a little bit more heart health conscious diet, you might consider getting a dog food that has heart healthy, you know, first. So that's reason four. And uh, like I said, a little more serious, but that's okay. I wanna make sure you guys have everything you need to know. And I don't claim to be an expert in medical science, in veterinary care at all. I just want to relay a few of the things that I have learned in my time having my Cavalier Spaniels and some of the things that I've read and learned online. The fifth reason that you might consider not getting a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel is that they are a hunting dog. So if you have other small dogs, I know it's just crazy to think the Cavalier is a hunting dog. I know it's tiny, it's cute, it's ferocious, but something to consider that they have predatory instincts, they have hunting instincts in their nature. So if you have other small animals such as hamsters, gerbils, rabbits, lizards, I don't know, they may be inclined to pester them more than you want. And you know, that's not a good thing. You don't want to stress out your other animals. So the Cavalier Spaniel being a hunting dog might be 
uh, a reason why you don't want to get one if you have lots of small animals. I know I have a niece who has a ferret and I can't imagine that they would get along very well with a ferret running around the house and the dog chasing it. It's like hunting rodents is what they do. So something for you to consider is maybe you have small animals and you don't need a dog to run around and terrorize them. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, so many kisses, so many kisses. All right. Okay guys, so I know that I told you I'd give you five reasons why you should not get a Cavalier Spaniel. I say that as I'm holding two. They're absolutely wonderful dogs, but I do want to give you two really quick honorable mentions of reasons why you might not want one. Um, one real quick is the price. They are expensive dogs. And so if you're on a budget or you want to rescue a dog from a shelter that doesn't cost you very much at all, that's a great deal too. And um, saving money, I know it's hard. Everybody is kind of struggling right now, but you might not want to spend you know several thousand dollars on a dog and I can understand that so the price of the dog may may just be a deal breaker for you right off the bat. The final little honorable mention of a reason why you might not want a Cavalier Spaniel is that they do require a lot of attention. They get uh, separation anxiety. They want to be with you all the time. So if you're gonna be gone all the time, uh, if you're not gonna have anyone in your home and you're gonna leave them in a kennel or something, it's just not a good idea to get one because they do require a lot of affection from humans specifically. So if you're not gonna be able to give the dog the, uh, the attention that it really needs or really wants, then you might not wanna get one. But I just wanted to say that first before I end the video because it's, uh, they, they both are important things as well. So, all right, come on. So with all that said, I cannot thank you enough for watching this video. I hope you're enjoying this stuff. I hope you're enjoying my content. If you are, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you feel about the dogs, about me. If you want to see anything specific, just let me know down below. I can build a little list of things that I wanna show you guys. I've got lots of stuff to show you and I would love to. So again, thank you so much for watching. And my name is Ryan. I go by Trick Stars and I sell artwork and I have lots of animals and I go on lots of trips. I love to show you that. So if you're into that kind of thing, subscribe to my channel and we will see you in the next video. Peace. I just wanna show you my art really quick, so follow me. So this is my wall at my house and you may have seen it in other videos, but this is where I keep a lot of my paintings that are finished. I got a lot of stuff in the back room that I'm working on but I just want you guys to know that there's real stuff here and so that everything you find on these shirts is actually a real painting here. So thanks for watching. See ya.